Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Gabrielle's Kitchen. In light of everything that's going on, we're going to be making something a little different today. We have things that you would normally already have in your pantry, so I'm excited. Let's get to it. Today, we're going to be making ramen. super cautious not transferring any bacteria we're getting in there scrub a dub dub i love to sing happy birthday no lie two times because i'd rather be safe than sorry happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday so next you want to go ahead and take the package of the chicken noodles take it out take the noodles out and place it in some hot boiling water and we're gonna just let it sit there for two minutes make sure you take your seasoning and you just set it to the side this is gonna be what we use after that you want to go ahead and grab some green onions and chop them up you can use as little or as much as you're into um, after that I want to just check on the noodles and we're just gonna mix it around we want to make sure that it's getting tender that all the noodles are you know looking good looking right I'm gonna mix it all up and once they're at a good place nice and tender I'm gonna add some sesame seed oil you do not need to use this if you don't have it don't be discouraged I just love the nuttiness it brings out super authentic flavors so I'm using that and I'm mixing it making sure it's well combined after that, I'm going to grab some soy sauce and again, this is just elevating it, um, making it super like Asian cuisine and it just it smells good and it tastes good. Then get your package of chicken flavored or whatever you have and you can just mix it in there. This is the only seasoning we're using. It's very potent so you don't need anything else. After that, I love some heat, so some chili garlic sauce is what I'm using, about half a teaspoon of that, and you want to make sure that you mix it really well. You don't want one side of the noodles to be super like compact with that flavor, so making sure it's well combined. And there you have it. Look how beautiful that broth looks, and the noodles are so tender and so good, and it just smells so right. Oh, I love it next get you some corn i have a can of corn you know we have some non-perishable stuff so this is one of them i'm going to add that corn i got some bean sprouts um you can use any veggie you'd like but that's what i'm using then we take the green onions placing it on the side and while everything was cooking i boiled an egg because i love eggs oh so good egg 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 i'm so ugly but yeah i love eggs cut it in half and you can just place it on the side and it just looks so pretty now i'm using black sesame seeds this is all for like the gas like i just love how it looks you don't need it but i love it look how pretty and there you have it Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Gabrielle's Kitchen. It was super simple, super good. Um, like you can see right there. If you don't have all these ingredients, just cater it to whatever you do have at home. Um, let's try it. Here we go. I'm trying to use chopsticks. Okay. If you guys have any more ideas that you want to see me make now that we're all at home and getting a little bit more hands on in the kitchen, please let me know. I would love to do those things and I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you next time in Gabrielle's Kitchen. Bye!